Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. We have a interesting BD here, hopefully. This is a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Uh, the customer complaint is uh, the rye sliding door uh, kind of like doesn't want to close. It's, she told me that she was one time in a parking lot, you know, going to a restaurant and she tried to close it for like 10 minutes and she couldn't. She just left it open and then went to get, you know, dinner. So let me show you what is happening. I got the car running. I uh, connect the scanner. I have not yet even, you know, identified the car, why did the car? It's because uh, I'm going to do this with the scanner. Well, let me show you what the complaint is. So I'm gonna open the car, or the, sorry, open the door. That's one of the issues. As you can see, that thing is like, it didn't went all the way up or all the way open as it should. All right, it's very, very weird reaction. It's locking. So this time it's not letting me open the door completely. She was just showing me in the parking lot and the door was going all the way open but then it didn't want it to shut to like five tries so this time it's not opening for me this is a, a limited switch or limiting switch uh, sorry if uh, the wording is not correct so my my uh, idea of what is happening this system has a, a switch that is loaded with, let's say like five pounds ten pounds or so I have to go over to a specifics uh, on the information for this uh, manufacturer but you know what is uh, or what it looks to me is the door is kind of like or you know like the door is kind of like hitting something and it's making it come back but it, the weird thing is it happens either when you close or in this case when you're open so the system is made like if you're shutting the door you know closing the door and you are in the way it will touch you or hit you and it press on you and then it will come back to open so it doesn't you know smash you like trying to close the door same thing while you're, you're open if it's an instruction on the door when it's going to open it will make the door come back so it doesn't damage you know the hardware or the paint on the door let's say you know you're right next to a, a column and then the door is hidden it's not just going to try to keep going and going open you know so that's for me the switch whatever switch is uh, working incorrectly i have to go with the scanner and check that out so i will try to like make the door stay open I wanted to check also, you know, if there's any obstructions on the rail. That's probably my first call. So let me turn the car off. See if I can do this manually. Make sure this door is working correctly. Okay, this is the driver's side. As you can see, it's sliding perfectly to open. That's the way it should be. And then when you hit the knob, the door handle it should just slide smoothly and close as it as just did on this side now let me turn the car off i'm gonna grab the keys this time Let's see if the remote makes any difference this one so it's happening exactly the same thing with the car off and with the remote I have the other door open and I stopped it because I didn't know which I was I'm sure the other one opens good and closed good I don't know if you guys can see it from you know through the car I am just hitting the remote so the the left the driver's side rear door is working perfectly the rear right is not Again, as you can see, I'm not pressing anything. I'm just, this is that side, so I'm just pressing the button, holding it, and then release. So the door should, you know, open. All right, so let me see what I can do with this. Sometimes, I'm sorry for the finger in there. Sometimes you can manually override the door, like I just did, by just holding the, the handle. So my first uh, 
thing will be to check the rails make sure everything seems normal I don't see any obstructions the rails are clean I mean it's a 2010 you don't expect to have any you know rollers yet bad which you know the common problems on this car are these uh, nylon rollers in here that get damaged same thing at the bottom and same thing on the rail that uh, holds the door or you know guys that the rear of the door close and open let me check those too and right here I don't feel any play with that all right so I was able to open the door manually let me try uh, to now close the door and that's exactly what is happening so I hear a weird noise on the back Right, so let's take a look at that. It might be a roller bag. So, oh yeah, I think I found our issue. Yeah, this roller I think is missing one of the wheels. Oh yeah, it's definitely damaged. Let me let me get something to point and show you guys what the issue is. But I found it. All right, back in business. So, all right, so let me show you first on the right. I'm the sorry on the passengers. Uh, I don't know what is wrong with my tongue today. Okay, so and in, in the driver's side, I want to show the position of this hardware here. As you can see, it's it's a straight. I have room in here. Hopefully, that's showing on the camera. Like this is nice and straight. It has another bearing on the back, right here a little hard to show uh, you know one hand hopefully you can guys can see the order bearing on there all right I'm now on the passenger side rear door to show you that even the frame or not the frame that a bracket that holds the roller that I was telling you this is like kind of like twist like this because the inside bearing is gone so let me see if I can, you guys can see the red mark. You see right there where it's completely hidden on the frame. I mean on the inside rail. So that uh, roller is completely gone. So I'm going to request this part and then get the uh, car back in to check, you know, electrically. So. I guess this is a short video so far. I need to get the approval for uh, to fix that. 